Hi, I'm Dr. Rupert Suckling, I'm the Director of Public Health here in Doncaster. Once again this week we've seen our rates in Doncaster remain largely static uh, in the high 300s. Our rate currently is 394.8 per 100,000 people for the period the 22nd to the 28th of August. This week many local children have returned to school across the borough and we know that the last two years have been very disruptive for our young people so I'm sure they've welcomed a return to education and their friends. Not only does school provide a place for learning, but it's also a major source, um, um, source of uh, social support and well-being. We've met with head teachers this week to support the return, but unfortunately I do expect there to be some disruption as children go back, given our relatively high COVID case rates. As children uh, return to school, their social mixing increases, and this will increase the chance of transmission. Not only will children who test positive need to self-isolate, there could also be impacts on parents and carers, especially as we start to see cases in primary school aged children. There have been some uh, changes in the government guidance for this term. For instance, contacts of positive cases no longer need to self-isolate as long as they remain well and do not display any symptoms. So this may well uh, reduce disruption for some. Each school has made their own decisions on safety measures for their pupils and staff. So if you're in doubt, please check with your school on what you and your children can expect. As we collectively try and balance the impacts of COVID against the impacts of not being in school for our young people, it's worth remembering the hard work and the dedication of teachers and all school staff. I hope they had a good and well-deserved rest as we enter a new school year. Finally, as we look ahead to the return of the St Ledger Festival, which begins next Wednesday, a reminder to ourselves to enjoy ourselves as safely as possible. We've been working closely with the organisers to ensure that plans are in place to deliver an event that's COVID safe. But if you do feel unwell ahead of the day at the races, please stay at home and get a test as soon as possible to try and avoid spreading the virus to others. Thank you.